Hello friends, this video on electrostatic potential part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 10 before going ahead with part 11. Very similar way, we will now calculate the potential due to an electric dipole at an equatorial point. So here you can see this is the dipole. So let us say this is plus q, this is minus q. Let us call this point as A and this point as B. So equatorial point is this point. So let us call this point as P. So equatorial point is the one which lies on the perpendicular bisector of the dipole. So we have to find out the potential at this point P. Now the distance between the charges is 2A. Therefore this is A, this is A because this is perpendicular bisector, right? So let us join these two lines. So we will calculate the potential. So here also we will do the same thing. We will first calculate the potential at P due to A. Then we will calculate the potential at P due to B. So when we calculate the potential at P due to A, this will be equal to K into Q divided by the distance. So what is the distance? That is AP. So what is AP? This is A and we assume that this point P is x distance away from the dipole. So what will be this? This is a right angle triangle. So from Pythagoras theorem this will be equal to x square plus a square root over. So similarly this will also be equal to root over x square plus a square. Right? So your potential at p due to a will be equal to kq divided by root over x square plus a square. That is the distance of this point from a. Similarly, potential at P due to B will be equal to K into minus Q divided by the distance that is again root over X square plus K square. So therefore, what would be the net potential? Net potential will be potential due to A plus potential due to B. So if you put the values, what do you get? Oh, if you see here, both of them are equal with opposite signs. So they cancel and your net potential becomes zero. That means potential due to an electric dipole at equatorial point is zero. So an important point to note here is at this point that is at equatorial point the electric field is non-zero but potential is zero because sometimes students make such mistake that okay if somewhere electric field is equal to zero so there is no electric field so therefore the potential should be zero. Similarly, sometimes people think that if the potential is zero, that means there will be no electric field. But that is not true. It is possible that the potential is zero, but the electric field is non-zero. This is a live example. You, we you ourselves have calculated the value of electric field due to an electric dipole at equatorial point. If you want to see, you can refer to the uh, videos of the previous chapter. So there you can see that we have ourselves calculated the electric field and it came out to be non-zero. But in this case, we saw that the potential is always zero. So the potential due to an electric dipole at an equatorial point is always zero. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.